So, um, just off the back of Tuesday, uh, it was a brilliant performance, wasn't it? So I probably, certainly the best I can remember, but it might just be because it's short term. Did you feel the, did you feel the same? No, I definitely feel the same. Uh, I think the lads, especially in the game, kind of went to that next level in the way we moved the ball, but especially in the way that we opened them up and created clear chances. Uh, and it is part of the process. It's part of that process that we always go on about and, and, and people talk about and kind of mock it at times, but it is. It's part of that process and we're, we're early within that process of this season with new players coming in in the top end of the pitch. So look, it's, it's good we're getting in the positions. Look, we all want them to take the chances. Potentially, if we'd have took all our chances the other night, we'd probably win 7-1. Uh, and that's not even exaggerating. We've watched the game back and you see how many clear chances there are. Uh, and it's not very often you see teams go down the barrel of the goal. And I think we went down the barrel of the goal probably three or four times, uh, which is really pleasing. It's just now we've got to keep them standards, keep that tempo. And the, the biggest plus for us is when we come away and watch the game, our press was outstanding. And that's why we had like in and around 70% possession within the game because every time we gave the ball away, we went and got it back within two or three passes. And it's something that we've really focused on with the group because we've got to defend from the front. Uh, and it was really pleasing. We, we dealt with all their long throws. We dealt with all their set pieces. And they're very good at it. They're a very dangerous team, one of the most dangerous teams within this division. And I thought we dealt with it very well. So it's in a way, it's a shame we didn't get the win because I think people would be you know, putting it up there with the olden game. Um, is that something you think, you know, it wasn't just, it was loads of players had loads of chances, didn't they? Is that something the boys are working on tonight? Yeah, of course. Look, we always work on it. We always watch the game back and then we will always plan a session in and around the opposition that we're facing at the weekend. But we'll always try and work individually uh, with the players now to keep trying to improve them. Uh, look, we don't really get the full contact time that we'd like. Uh, we get now an hour and a half on the 3G. We've got to try and make sure that it's, it's spread best for how we, we approach the weekend. But yeah, we'll be trying to work individually as well with lads to try and improve it. And that's what we've got to do. And lads, we've got a good group of lads. They'll be going away and working on their own game individually away from Wheelstone as well, which is good. And they're, they're hungry lads. And we got filed on the weekend, uh, just been promoted. We've never played them before. Uh, what can you tell, tell us about Fylde? Uh They've had a good start to the season. They've picked up four points. They've played Chesterfield, Kidderminster uh, and Maidenhead. Uh, so they've had, a, had tough games. There's no easy games in this division when you just ring off the teams that they've played against already. Kinderminster are a team that come up with them, so they'd have known a lot about them within the division. But when teams get promoted, I think for the first 10 games, they're still so enthusiastic and playing with full of confidence. And that's how you look at forward. They are they're playing with full of confidence. It's going to be a really tough game. They're an ambitious club that I'd say that probably want to finish in the top half of the division. Uh, They've recruited really well this summer, I've said it every week, but I think every, every team that we've, we've come up against this summer has recruited really well for the division. They, they've recruited players that have had really good seasons in the, in the National League North and are stepping up and some of them have p produced within the National League already. So look, it's going to be a real tough test, uh, but it's a challenge that we're looking forward to. So we had the same ourselves didn't we? when we come up, so had a really good start. Uh, unlike us, um, they've come up with a full-time model. They were very well established in this league as well, weren't they, until they suffered a shock relegation. Um, as you said, what, what, where do you think they'd expect to finish this year and what, where do you think they'd, they'd be coming to us expecting to win? Yeah, I think, I think there's a belief with probably every team in this division now that whenever they go into a game that they can win a game of football and it's no different to us, even though we are part-time, that every game we go into, like, like we just talked about Bromley, going to Bromley the other night, we're going there to try and win the game of football. We're not going there and hoping we can get a point. And it will be the same with them. They'll be coming to Wheelstone. They've never played against us before. So it's that unknown of coming to our stadium. We've got to make sure this weekend it's really hostile and, and we can make the place rocking for us to get the lads going as well. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be an, an interesting game. Uh, they play 3-4-3 three, three as well. So it's going to be interesting. Similar kind of formations against each other. But look, we're looking forward to the game. And as I say, Matt, you said Tuesday night, you know, we're progressing from where we was this time last year. I think we're a point better off. Um, at what stage do you start looking at points and, and the league table? Because it's still quite early days, isn't it? Look, we have a points target uh, that we want to get to and want to achieve. And if we do, we're having a, an outstanding season, really. Uh, but realistically, it's, it's kind of that 50 point mark. You want to get there as quick as you can. Uh, to know that you're safe within this division and, and it's the aim for us as a football club that it's another season that really we've got to look at stabilising again within this league because like you've just said there, teams have come into the division that are already 
full time. They've already got that full time model, so there's less and less of us now within the division. I think we're the only proper part time club now within the division. So it's one of those look, we want to get to that 50 point mark as quick as we can, and then we'll see where it takes us. But look, in house, we have different goals set individually and collectively. Perfect. Cheers, Jim. Cheers, Chris. Thanks a lot.